It's no secret that Jay-Z and Diddy have a strong bond. But with Diddy currently facing negative attention in the public eye, Ice Cube has made some surprising comments about the Carters, gatekeepers, which Ice Cube is attempting to bring to light. Take a trip back in time to the month of June when Ice Cube dropped the bomb on Twitter by posting a video in which he, in the doubted his concerns with the NBA, mainstream media, and the entertainment world. He expressed his anger. He spoke with strong words when he revealed that the gatekeepers in the industry attempted to undermine him simply due to the fact that he is not a member of their so-called club. The discoveries made by Ice Cube began with claims that were shockingly shocking about influential figures such such as Jay-Z, Diddy, and the Carters. These statements caused a wave of incredulity to spread throughout the community. He disclosed the existence of a close-knit group of gatekeepers, a clandestine organization whose influence is responsible for determining the trajectory of careers. This is a club that certain artists are desperate to avoid joining. Through the insightful comments that he provides, Ice Cube sheds light on the dynamics that occur behind the scenes of an industry that relies on connections, strategic tactics, and unwritten standards. We are compelled to confront the disturbing reality that obtaining success in the world of hip-hop frequently needs more than simply skill and effort. His remarks force us to confront this truth, just like in this video. A lot of people might say, like, well, Cube, you want to work with the NBA? Really, I don't give a fuck about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, mainstream media, you know, they ain't with us. The mention of a club of gatekeepers implies a secretive group that controls access and opportunities within the hip-hop scene, suggesting a level of exclusivity that may not align with the industry's public image of meritocracy. Jay-Z and Beyonce's evolving influence. Jay-Z and Beyonce have captured audiences all around the world with their talent, charisma, and obvious impact. From their origins as rising stars in the music industry to their current standing as cultural icons, all of these things have contributed to their success you know it's music and it's opinion based but you know some things you know I don't want to embarrass this young lady but some of you don't belong in the category let us turn back the hands of time and take a look at the significant turning points that have led to the formation of their voyage and cemented their position in the annals of pop culture history. Jay-Z began his ascent to notoriety in the rough neighborhoods of Brooklyn, where he refined his craft as a rapper and entrepreneur. This was the beginning of his rise to prominence. In the meantime, Beyonce's adventure started when she was a member of Destiny's Child. It was around this time that her powerful vocals and magnetic stage presence captured the attention of people all over the world. As each of their careers progressed, Jay-Z and Beyonce Beyonce decided to join forces, both in their personal lives and in their professional lives, so forming a formidable collaboration that extends beyond the realm of music. Beyond the sphere of music, Jay-Z and Beyonce have had a significant impact due to their influence. By utilizing their platform to advocate for social justice, promote diversity and inclusion, and strengthen populations that have been disadvantaged, they have become cultural tastemakers. Presidents to Kings, like who's been like the most receptive, I guess, of the album, like unexpected. Like, uh, I had a phone call, and again, I won't say the, the content of the phone call, but like, uh, no, I'm not even gonna say it. I had a lot of couple, a lot of great phone calls that was like, no, I guess I can't say. It. I had a beautiful message from Stevie Wonder. Wow. In point of fact, the fact that Jay Z has been successful in the fields of fashion, sports management, and philanthropy, in addition to Beyonce's pioneering accomplishments in the fields of art, business, and activism, has contributed to the consolidation of their reputation as cultural icons. The fact that they serve as a source of motivation for members of subsequent generations is possibly the most important contribution they have made. Jay-Z and Beyonce have demonstrated to aspiring artists and business people that everything is possible if they put in the effort and are determined to achieve their goals. They have proved that they are able to persevere, remain resilient, and prioritize greatness. You know, I, I probably told this story before, but I'm in the club. There was the days when you would perform and stay in the in the bar. Yeah, you yeah. know, you wouldn't leave. It yeah. was no big I, time you perform. Thank you. I was like a little scared. I'm saying like maybe he's looking. 
So I look, and there's nobody there. <laughs> the decline in public power that Jay-Z and Beyonce have experienced is indicative of a more widespread transition that is taking place inside the business as newly emerging voices and points of view are gaining importance. This movement may be linked to a number of different variables, such as the changing preferences of viewers, the developing cultural landscapes, and the development of new talent that challenges the current quo. Jay-Z and Beyonce kind of shifting in the next three years. So by 2027, they no longer wield the public power that you think they do. And the power dynamics within the music industry have undergone a substantial shift as a result of Ice Cube's revelations against Jay-Z and Beyonce. By the year 2027, it is clear that the once untouchable team is no longer able to exert the same amount of public influence and authority that they once did. The couple, who were for a long time thought to be titans of the music world, have been the subject of a traditional narrative that has been challenged by this disclosure. This revelation by Ice Cube brings to light the the ephemeral nature of fame and influence in the entertainment industry, and it serves as a timely reminder that no single person or couple can remain at the pinnacle of their career for an infinite period of time. As the power of Jay-Z and Beyonce continues to decline, it paves the way for a musical environment that is more diversified and dynamic, one in which creativity and authenticity are given the highest priority. Are you interested in hearing your thoughts on the growing influence of Jay-Z and Beyonce? Describe the ways in which they have influenced your life or the world around you. In the comments section below, please share your ideas. Speculation surrounding Diddy and Jay-Z's alleged rift. Despite the fact that Diddy and Jay-Z have both established themselves as influential figures in the music industry throughout the course of their careers, there has been new conjecture that their relationship may have reached a difficult point. According to the reports that have been going around, tensions between the two business magnates have been boiling beneath the surface, which has led to conjecture regarding the underlying cause of their claimed breach of relationship. Let's consider the evidence, shall we? There have been a number of incidents that have contributed to the suspicion that surrounds their relationship. These incidents range from public arguments to subtle digs expressed on social media. As a result of the intense competition that exists in the hip-hop industry, it is not unusual for rivalries to arise, particularly between musicians and business people who are competing for the position of industry leader. On the other hand, it is of the utmost importance to differentiate between genuine dispute and frivolous speculation that is fed by sensationalism in the media. The journeys that Diddy and Jay-Z have taken to become famous have been very different, despite the fact that both of them have attained Tremengu success. Could the fact that they take different approaches to music and business be one of the elements that led to the purported gap between them? Regardless of whether or not the claims are true, there is one thing that is very clear. Diddy and Jay-Z have left an indelible stamp on the hip-hop landscape, and they continue to serve as a source of inspiration for a great number of musicians and business people all over the world. It has been whispered that Jay-Z, who has been Diddy's long-standing ally, is beginning to distance himself from the hip-hop tycoon. This has caused the rumor mill to be ablaze with speculation regarding the potential difficulties that Diddy may be experiencing. There are also reports that imply Jay-Z may be taking extreme measures, such as canceling the annual Rock Nation brunch, which is an event that is synonymous with flash, glamour, and connections inside the business. The hip-hop community has been rocked by the rumors of a schism between two giants of the music industry, which has caused shockwaves to travel across the community and sparked intense conjecture about the reasons behind their apparent falling out. Given their long-standing friendship and professional partnerships, the mere hint of strife between Jay-Z and Diddy is enough to raise eyes. Details remain scarce, but the mere indication of discord between the two is enough to raise eyebrows. If these reports turn out to be accurate, it might indicate a seismic shift in the power dynamics inside the music industry, which would have far-reaching ramifications for both Diddy and Jay-Z's respective empires. This intriguing narrative is being keenly watched by the business, but only time will tell whether these rumors are grounded on truth or merely idle talk. However, one thing is certain. The industry is keeping a close eye on how this story develops. Ice Cube's claims that he has secret information, Diddy Jay-Z Beyonce over the course of his career. 
Ice Cube has garnered a reputation for his straightforwardness and unflinching honesty. Therefore, when he made a veiled reference to the fact that he had insider information about these heavyweights in the music industry, the entire globe took note. It has been speculated that Ice Cube may be in possession of insider information regarding the complexities of Diddy's relationship with the hip-hop power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce, according to the whispers that have been carried throughout the music industry. It is possible that these reports may throw light on the supposed gap that exists between Diddy and Jay-Z. That is because they hint at a better grasp of the dynamics that exist between the important characters. Some others have hypothesized that Ice Cube's assertions could be connected to financial transactions, personal relationships, or even long-standing feuds inside the music industry. On the other hand, until the specifics are disclosed, everything is merely speculation. Whether or not Ice Cube will follow through and reveal this top secret knowledge is the most important question that everyone is wondering about. Also, if this is the case, what kind of effects will it have on the people that are involved as well as the industry as a whole? While we wait for additional developments, it is crucial to keep in mind that speculating ought to be treated with prudence. In spite of the fact that Ice Cube's statements have generated enthusiasm, it is essential to refrain from drawing any conclusions until definitive evidence is given. The fact that Ice Cube is so adamant about maintaining his credibility highlights the significance of responsible journalism and the requirement to verify material before disseminating it towards the general public. If it turns out that Ice Cube does, in fact, have access to confidential information regarding this matter, it may have huge repercussions for how the hip-hop culture views loyalty and alliances. It is suggested that he is aware of the negotiations that take place behind the scenes between these heavyweights of the industry, which lends an additional layer of mystery to the story that is currently being told about Diddy's purported problems. As the amount of supposition increases and the level of curiosity increases, all eyes are on Ice Cube. Many people are eagerly awaiting any information he may choose to provide into the inner workings of hip-hop's elite circles. According to these speculations, Ice Cube's discoveries have the potential to completely transform the landscape of the music industry, so irrevocably transforming our views of power, friendship, and devotion into something completely different. Further analysis of Ice Cube's claims regarding Diddy's connection to R. Kelly and Aaliyah. In a recent interview, Ice Cube dropped a bombshell when he suggested that Diddy may have had prior knowledge about R. Kelly's alleged misconduct with Aaliyah. Ice Cube stated, and I quote, I think Diddy knew. I think everybody knew. You know, it's just a matter of time before that stuff is going to bubble to the surface. Discussions regarding the responsibilities of people working in the entertainment industry to speak out against misconduct have been rekindled as a result of these allegations, particularly when it comes to the health and safety of young singers like Alia. But let's look into this in greater detail. Is Ice Cube implying that Diddy had direct knowledge of R. Kelly's crimes? Or is he only making a reference to a larger culture of silence that exists inside the industry? Diddy and R. Kelly have both been influential figures in the music industry for a considerable amount of time, which is a crucial fact to keep in mind. A number of public interactions and collaborations have taken place between the two artists during the course of their creative careers, as well as with Ilea. A deeper understanding of the intricate power dynamics that exist inside the entertainment industry is provided by Ice Cube's statements. Especially when it involves high-profile persons like R. Kelly, it is not unusual for individuals to ignore inappropriate behavior. This is especially true under certain circumstances. In light of this, what are our thoughts on Ice Cube's assertions? Is it merely a matter of speculation? Or do they call for additional attention and investigation? It is possible that the truth will never be discovered in its entirety. Ice Cube's comments, on the other hand, serve as a timely reminder of the significance of holding individuals accountable for their acts and speaking out against injustice, regardless of how unsettling it may be to do so. The fact that R. Kelly has been known to engage in predatory behavior, which has been well documented, raises serious issues about the role that influential figures like Diddy have in facilitating and perpetuating such abuse. Ice Cube's remarks suggest that Diddy may have been engaged in aiding R. Kelly's acts, either by turning a blind eye 
or actively helping in covering up the abuse. This might have been the case with either of these two scenarios. Furthermore, the fact that a settlement involving publishing rights was mentioned provides a glimpse at the intricate legal and financial machinations that may have been utilized in order to quiet victims and protect those who committed the crimes being discussed. Non-disclosure agreements are frequently included in these types of settlements, which restrict survivors from speaking out and holding their abusers accountable for their actions. The charges made by Ice Cube have significant repercussions, and they have brought to light broader concerns regarding the exploitation and mistreatment of young musicians inside the music industry. Additionally, it highlights the critical need for openness, accountability, and institutional reform in order to prevent instances of a similar nature from occurring in the future. While the general public is struggling to come to terms with these discoveries, it serves as a sobering reminder of the power dynamics that are at play behind the scenes of the music industry, which presents itself as a glamorous business. Diddy's legal issues and acquittal in the Club New York incident. Over the course of his career, Diddy, a renowned figure in the music industry, has been confronted with a number of legal issues, particularly those that are associated with claims of violence and gun possession, respectively. The most prominent incident took place in 1999 at Club New York, when a dispute between Diddy's crew and another group resulted in gunshots. This incident is considered to be one of the most significant instances. As a consequence of the confrontation, a number of people sustained injuries, and Diddy was taken into custody on suspicion of breaking the law regarding guns and accepting bribes. There were witnesses who testified during the trial who presented contradictory descriptions of the events that took place, which made the legal proceedings more complicated. If they wouldn't be spinning their wheels or wasting their time, they believe that they are going to be able to develop enough uh, witness information and physical evidence through these search warrants that they want to file charges. From federal raids and possible... The legal team for Diddy maintained that he was acting in self-defense and that the prosecution's case did not have sufficient evidence to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he was guilty of the crime. Diddy's legal team adopted a vigorous defense strategy, exploiting his celebrity position and financial resources to oppose the prosecution's case. This was done despite the seriousness of the charges against Diddy. The trial received a great amount of attention from the media and became a focal point of public interest, drawing attention to the convergence of celebrity, riches, and the legal system. In the end, Diddy was found not guilty of any of the allegations against him in the year 2001. This result was hailed as a vindication of his innocence by his following and was applauded by his supporters. Diddy's reputation, on the other hand, was irreparably damaged as a result of the trial, which also brought into doubt the justice and impartiality of the judicial system, particularly in situations involving prominent personalities. The difficulties that Diddy has had in the judicial system serve as a cautionary story about the nuances of celebrity and the possible hazards that come along with it. The incident that occurred at Club New York continues to cast a shadow over his career, despite the fact that he was found not guilty of the charges against him. This highlights the lasting impact that legal issues have on the public perception and reputation. A fight between Diddy's crew and another group reportedly resulted in a shooting that left three people injured. The reports state that the incident occurred after the confrontation. While everything was in disarray, Diddy and Jennifer Lopez, who was his girlfriend at the time, were taken into custody and charged with bribery and violation of firearms laws. Sean Coombs, also known as Puff Daddy, and Anthony Jones, also known as Wolf, have been indicted today on weapons charges. The defendants are charged with criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree and third degrees for the possession of loaded 9mm. In the subsequent court struggle, which was heated, Diddy was confronted with the risk of serving a large amount of time in jail if he was found guilty. Nevertheless, Diddy emerged victorious when he was acquitted of all charges following a protracted trial that was accompanied by a great deal of speculation. It was a big triumph not only for Diddy individually, but also for the hip-hop culture as a whole, as he was found not guilty of the charges against him. In the face of hardship, it demonstrated the significance 
significance of battling for justice and the power that can be acquired via legal representation. Diddy proceeded to develop his empire in the wake of the incident that occurred at Club New York, further consolidating his position as one of the most important personalities in the music and entertainment industries. On the other hand, the event also functioned as a cautionary tale about the perils of celebrity and the significance of surrounding oneself with positively influencing people. Ice Cube's claims about Beyonce's public image. Beyonce's public image may not be in line with reality, according to charges made by Ice Cube, which have aroused enormous intrigue and debate within the music industry. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their club. The comments made by Ice Cube give the impression that there is a more complicated story that lies beneath the surface, despite the fact that many people look up to Beyonce as a model of brilliance, beauty, and morality. For a very long time, fans and critics alike have been fascinated by the speculation that surrounds the genuine nature of Beyonce's character. The authenticity of her persona has been called into question on occasion, despite the fact that she has meticulously cultivated an image of grace and empowerment. Rumors of manipulation and turmoil occurring behind the scenes have occasionally arisen. These concerns are given additional fuel by Ice Cube's remark, which raises doubts about the extent to which Beyonce's public image is the result of precise branding and image management rather than true authenticity. Talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are. Skeptics contend that Beyonce's image may be more skillfully produced than it appears to be, despite the fact that her staunch admirers fervently defend her status as a role model and icon. In this day and age of social media and celebrity culture, the charges made by Ice Cube have far-reaching ramifications because they require us to reevaluate our opinions of celebrities and the hazy lines that separate fact and illusion. The words made by Ice Cube serve as a reminder that the truth that lies beyond the dazzling mask of celebrity may be more elusive than we know. This is true, regardless of whether or not Ice Cube's allegations are true. Now, if you haven't caught wind of it yet, Ice Cube stirred up quite the storm when he made some bold statements about Queen Bey's image in the media. But what exactly did he say? And is there any truth to it? Let's break it down. Ice Cube stated, and I quote, Beyonce is not just a great entertainer, she's a great actress. You don't even see her. You see a projection of her, you don't see nothing. These words have sparked intense debate among fans and critics alike. So, is Ice Cube suggesting that Beyonce's public persona is merely a facade? That what we see of her is not her true self, but rather a carefully crafted image? Beyonce has undoubtedly crafted a powerful public image over the years, one that exudes confidence, strength, and glamour. From her electrifying performances to her philanthropic endeavors, she's undeniably made an impact on pop culture and beyond. But let's consider Ice Cube's perspective for a moment. As an artist himself, he understands the nuances of fame and the pressures of maintaining a certain image in the public eye. Ice Cube's comments might reflect a broader critique of the entertainment industry as a whole. The kind of stuff in rap lyrics works as a funnel to get people uh, inspired to do the kind of things. In an era dominated by social media and carefully curated personas, it's not uncommon for celebrities to present a polished version of themselves to the world. So, where does the truth lie? Is Beyonce's public image an authentic reflection of who she is, or is it a meticulously crafted projection designed to appeal to her audience? Ultimately, the answer may vary depending on who you ask. What's important is to recognize that celebrities, like all of us, are complex individuals with both public and private dimensions. And perhaps, in the midst of all the speculation, we should remember to appreciate the artistry and talent that Beyonce brings to the table.